The time has come, my friends. Are there mirrors around here? Because I'm totally naked. To wash my hair. <laughs> dryer so I'm going to braid it because I want it to be really really curly and pretty for Disneyland um, so it will all look like this <laughs> but <laughs> only on my hair it's only underneath that's like super curly and then on top it's just weird frizzy mess so anyway I'm gonna attempt to do this my niece normally would do it for me but she's out of town can't do it so I'm gonna have to do it by myself and I'm gonna do like one of those upside down French braids because that creates a better, prettier curl. So, but anyway, I just thought I'd turn on the camera and oh, talk to you while I do this. Um, look at that. Like if my whole head was like that, that would be really cool, I think. But no, just the bottom. It's really strange. Um, there have been a lot of comments that I wanted to address. This isn't me like giving the trolls attention or anything like that. This is not for the trolls. This is for the people who are truly concerned about my well-being. So what I want to say, and I don't know if they'll be watching this because I don't know if they will, but um, if they are, a lot of people are getting after me about going to therapy and how YouTube is never going to heal me and I'm not getting any better. I keep relapsing all the time and I need therapy. I need therapy. I need treatment. I need every. I need to go to meetings. I need all that stuff. So what I want to clear up for those people is that you must be new to my channel because I've talked about this before, but I guess you're very new. Um, so I just want you guys to know that I have been in therapy for a long time, 20 years. Um, I started therapy when I was around 12 or 13 and I've been in and out of therapy since then. Um, most of my therapy, I kind of bullcrapped my way through. However, I learned a lot of really, really important, uh, lessons from it and stuff that I incorporate in my channel and into my recovery. Um, because otherwise, how would I, I mean, I mean, think about it. Like you, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but anyway, I just want you to know that I have gotten therapy for most of my life and I also have done meetings. I've done EDA meetings, eating disorders awareness meetings. I've even gone to, um, AA meetings before. I'm not doing this right. I don't know what I'm doing. I never do this. Um, I've, I've even gone to AA meetings, Alcoholics Anonymous meetings because um, they do the 12 steps also and eating EDA, Eating Disorders Anonymous, we use the 12 step book uh, and we just like, every time it talked about alcohol, we would just change it to like an eating disorder behavior word or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, this is really hard. So the other thing is that people are saying because of my relapse a week and a half ago or whenever that was, um, people are like so disappointed in me and being like, you are not getting better. Like, why are you not getting better? YouTube isn't doing anything for you. You're wasting your time, blah, blah, blah. The thing is, you guys, is that I am getting better and I'm proud of myself for it. And, um, I just messed it up. Are you kidding me? 
I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I don't think I can talk and do this at the same time, so I'll be back. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to say was a lot of you guys are so concerned or whatever that I'm not getting better, that because I relapsed, I'm just, like, some of the comments really hurt me, but I, I don't think that you meant to be hurtful, but I just want to let you know that it was really hurtful. Um, so telling me things like, um, so you fake your way through YouTube and get money from people to get your teeth fixed only to relapse and throw up just take out your fake teeth and then throw up or whatever or, and some of you are kinder about it and saying you you have not gotten better at all why are you doing this this is a waste of your time youtube sucks for you it's not working blah 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 you're not healing you're not letting yourself heal you're not trying hard enough you need professional help blah, blah, blah. you guys go and watch my videos from when i very first started this channel when i started this channel almost two years ago I was binging and purging up to 10 times a day, usually two to 10 times a day. I was starving myself during the day and binging and purging at night. I was extremely um, agoraphobic. I wouldn't leave my house. I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, talk to people. I wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't talk to strangers, people that I don't even know. Um, I was suicidal. I was a cutter, an active cutter. I was extremely self-conscious and I had a really, really bad body dysmorphic disorder. Um, so if you think that I haven't changed, <laughs> let me tell you something. I have changed because good heavens, I've come a long way and I'm very, very proud of that. And I just hope that people can understand that. Like I'm not mad at you and I know that you're not getting mad at me, you're just concerned. This is totally out of concern and love, which is why I'm addressing it. I'm not gonna address the trolls anymore. I'm actually talking to the people who really are concerned. Some of you, your approach isn't very nice, but I can tell that it does come from a place of concern. So yeah, so anyway, I'm doing great and I'm proud of myself. Okay, so now that it's braided, very well done, I might add. Seriously. It's okay, I'm just gonna wear a hat tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, um, you'll notice my straw ends. They're really, really healthy. So I'm gonna show you what I do to make it appear healthier. Um, I've been doing this for a long time because I've never, I hardly ever cut my hair. Duh, obviously. Um, and so, I get dead ends and I mean we all do but I get an extra I feel like because because <laughs> I just do I don't know where it's going with that but anyway so I'm gonna let my flat iron heat up first and then I'll show you in a minute close enough okay so what I do and I'm just gonna do it with the braids today obviously but I normally do this with my hair if I straighten my hair um, or if it just looks dead so I'm gonna take some serum uh, this is what I use, Pantene Pro-V Repair Serum or something like that. Yeah, but you can use any serum, it doesn't matter. Give it a little, little, little pump and then douse the ends with it, okay? And you're gonna take your flat iron, I know it's bad for it, but it works, and, and you're gonna slowly So as you can see, it makes a huge difference. I mean, it's still dead and you can tell it close, but from far away, it looks so much more healthy, doesn't it? It's so weird. So anyway, that's what I do and it works for me. And I don't know, my ends I'm not too worried about anyway, because they're so thin. Like the rest of my hair is so much thicker than the ends of my hair. So I'm not worried even if I did accidentally burn it or damage it then I would just trim it off because I literally only do it for the bottom, you know, two inches of it. So, yeah, so that's what I do. That was a very steamy one. Wow. 
Why is this side so much longer? Oh, it's not. Okay. So that's the video for today because I have a lot of packing and cleaning to do and I would film it but I don't have the time or the energy to like set it up and then edit all of it like I really I need this video to be as low maintenance as possible today because I'm really really stressed and my body's not cooperating today and I need it to because I have a lot to do so anyway I'm just gonna end it here and I will see you guys tomorrow and we're gonna be doing a lot of Instagram live on the road so if you don't follow me on Instagram already go do so because we're gonna be doing that a lot like wherever we have range and stuff because that would really make the long drive a lot more enjoyable um, and fun for all of us so yeah so go follow me on Instagram educating underscore Shani I think um, yeah I put it at the beginning of the video didn't I don't I always do that actually Anyway, I'm so excited and I'm so nervous and I'm so worried and I'm I'm like so nervous to meet you guys. Those of you that are meeting me in Disneyland to meet me. Like I am so nervous. Like I'm flattered and excited that you guys care that enough to drive to Disneyland to meet me, but I am just like, what is happening? That's crazy. So I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna get to meet Gabby and Erin, so that's fun and someone else said they were coming to I forget who it was but yeah so if you didn't watch my other video explaining when the meet and greet is it's going to be on Tuesday at 4 p.m. outside of Disneyland so like right in between Disneyland and Disney California you don't have a ticket to get in that part do you you know the part that's in between the two parks that's where I'm gonna be I don't think you need a ticket to go in that park but if you do then I'll meet you outside the gates or whatever I don't know but I'll be like Instagramming and letting you guys know where we are and stuff so okay so we'll see you tomorrow and remember forever and always that you are beautiful you are worth it and I am too thank you for watching bye why did I start so high